Warning, this podcast contains spoilers and lots and lots of death. What's up, everyone, and welcome to it. another episode of the As Seen on TV podcast for the Game of Thrones Season 5 finale, The Mother's Mercy. I'm your host, Mike, and joining me is a full complement of John. And Cleo. And Pat. What's going on? Yeah, and Michelle. Hello! See, they <coughs> broke the silence. Hello! Sorry! <laughs> Uh, so do we want to talk about this episode, or do we just have, like, a memorial service for all the dead people? Seriously. Right. should call the priest. <laughs> I mean, I was, I, uh, when we oh, call Chris, calling I, Sparrow, I, can you not call Sparrow things? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he does. He does it all the time for Walking Dead. Mm. It's called Chris Hardwick in. Okay, we will That's Chris Hardwick this episode, then. Let's get through this together. Together. And get through this together. together, but first. This is sad, man. This is very sad. So let's start with not dead people. Oh, yes. Right. But, please. The Stark sisters. We'll start with Sansa. She, um, finally gets the balls to go light the candle herself. Figures, hey, the chaos mm-hmm. of an approaching army? That's a perfect time. Mm-hmm. Nobody's going to be around. She goes up. Lights the candle. Well, you've also seen the, the patience she's had. I'm sorry. Yeah, you know, you're right. She has the been corks- pretty patient. She's had the corkscrew for five episodes. She's, she's had, had the, the corkscrew for a yeah. long time. And she yeah. hasn't stabbed his eyeballs out with it. Exactly. Well played. Patience, Sansa. So, um, yeah, she gets cornered by Miranda. That smirk. I- I- mm-hmm. Smirking woman with a bow and arrow and Theon standing there. Theon finally decides to help Sansa, which I was so happy about. Oh, so was I. Mm-hmm. She thought he was going to do she more was... instead of just throw her off. No, no. She was standing with the bow, and I'm like, honey, you don't know how to hold a bow. I mean, I... it was a pretty big bow for a girl of that size. It wasn't that big. Eh, true. Still, she wasn't exactly standing great for it. And then just... Push! Or more like pick up and throw! Splatter. See you later! Yep. See you later. <laughs> Squish. So Theon finally came to his senses and he's helping his surrogate sister there escape. Yay. Mm hmm. He is. About okay. time. I, I jumped off the roof. By jumping off the walls of Winterfell, which I really hope that snow was fucking deep at the bottom. Yeah. So I don't know. Did anybody see water? Because I kind of saw like a moat a little bit. I don't know if there is a moat it's around. Water, here, it was though. frozen. It would probably be frozen. Yes, I was just gonna say that it's cold. Yeah, let's hope there was no water. Yeah. And if it was, it was still nice, uh, liquid, and flowing. Unless the decision was, hey, you want to break your legs? Yes. Jump. Or hey, you want to die? Yeah, sure. Let's go. Let's go would, die. Would Sweet. you like to? <laughs> would you like to break your legs and possibly crawl away and live, or die by Ramsey's hand? Yeah, that's. I mean, I mean, obviously the choice is break your legs. Yes. Right. Yeah. But okay. While I'm very happy that they're getting away and stuff, I'm still upset that things are still happening to Sansa, and Sansa's not doing things. Like, yes, she did a thing. She broke out of the the jail. She broke out of her her room. She went to light the candle, but still. Theon was the one who pushed what's her face over the edge. Theon's the one who's like, come on. Things are still happening to Sansa, and Sansa's not really doing, making things happen. Right, she's not making things happen. It was just such a such a fake out at the end of last season where it was like, Sansa's gonna play the game. She's gonna be, you know, head bitch. And, and then it's the beginning like, of the season oh. looked good for that. And then it no. did. And then very yeah, poking cuz of Ramsay, and in turn, it's like, ah, uh, she's back to normal. Yep. Yeah, we can blame Ramsay. I prefer. I would rather blame the writers. I prefer <laughs> to blame Peter. Blame I prefer Peter. to blame Baelish. That duplicitous bastard. Well, so, he's going to play the game. Well, yeah, yeah. He's playing the game for himself. Well, yeah. Anyway, um, so Sansa's on the run. 
they left her ending a little open. And as you said, she's really not mu doing much for herself, unlike her <laughs> sister. <laughs> Imagine it's going to be a cold open in the next season. It's just going to be... <laughs> yeah, I, I hope. That'd be amazing. But anyway, her sister is getting shit done. Yeah. yeah. Like, immediately stabbing. Just just like, Stabbing. dude, fuck you. I knew it. As soon as they had the I three girls that. and she was getting whipped to hell with the stick, I'm like, yep, and that's our... <laughs> it didn't even phase her. I was like, well, yep. the only reason I was confused is because I didn't think she could take a face yet. I didn't think so either. I was thinking she had to go, go take it. Yeah. She, she, had, you know. she had to legit go take it. She stole it. And she got her revenge on Samarin Trant by stabbing him in the eyeballs multiple times in the chest, slitting his throat. Uh, she stabbed him everywhere. She stabbed him everywhere. She just, like, made him feel it. I yes, she it. did. Revenge is sweet. Revenge is very sweet and uh, apparently frowned upon. Well, well, well we knew this was going to happen if she got her revenge. Yeah. When you're serving the god of death, there are rules. Yeah. Mm hmm. So, she stole from the many faced god. Mm -hmm. So, they had to give somebody back. And when he drank the poison, I was like, why? I know, I was like, wait, what? Like, why would you really? That? Why would you. What the hell route are they going with? And then there he is standing right behind her the whole time, like. Yep. Yeah, that whole scene kind of made me confused. No, no. And well, then she just keeps. Part that part was to prove a point. Mm -hmm. Because that person's not Jack and Hagar. That person's no one. And that it, might not even be the no one that she met. Right. Yeah. That's very true. That person was no one. And, I mean... And yeah. it's just as easy for the other one to take the face of Jack and Hagar. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Exactly. And then oh she just keeps pulling yeah. how many faces off of it. That was, like... Yeah. And then I saw her own. Yeah, which I don't understand. And then that's went possible. blind. How the f what? What? I don't. I don't understand that whole scene. I really didn't. At that point, I was like, I don't. To her, you take something, and now we take something. So no, like, but I don't understand. Like, what's happening right. to her at this point? Like, what? Right. What face or what? You know, she's going blind. Mm. All well, of a sudden. As he put it, you. You know, you can't take the face until you're ready. She wasn't ready, and she took the face. <laughs> Yeah, she definitely rushed why in. Why was her face on the corpse? She yeah, I thought the whole She's point of dead. the... Yeah, taking the faces of the dead. If Arya is not dead, how is her face available for taking? Yeah, that was a little... But she put the fa she put a face on before she was ready, maybe by putting a... I don't know. I feel There's like... magic involved. It's magical. Yeah. What is it? Like he said, you took a life that wasn't yours to take. Mm-hmm. She was supposed to take what the the seller or the person yeah. who buys the food and did not. But here in this instance, two rules were broken. She mm -hmm. killed the wrong. She killed a life that uh, she killed someone who wasn't supposed to be killed, and she stole a face. So the punishment for stealing the face was her being blinded, and the punishment for um, taking the wrong life is another life. Right. Hmm. Those are two separate, two separate, two uh, separate, uh, consequences. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's gonna suck learning how to become an assassin while being blind. Yeah, really. Yeah. Well, I think that Arya Stark is blind. Right. If she takes another, if she learns what she needs to learn, becomes no one, takes another face, she'll be able to see. Right, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I agree with you there. I believe that Arya Stark, that persona... If she ever goes back to being Arya Stark, she'll be blind. Yeah. Uh, Very interesting, though. <laughs> yes, indeed. Rest in peace, Arya's eyeballs. Well, she still has her eyeballs. They're okay, just... rest in peace, Arya's eyesight. Her cornea, or her whatever. <laughs> okay. Um, her detached retinas. There mm -hmm. you go. <laughs> Moving back to the north. Rest in peace, Stannis Baratheon. Oh. First of his name. King of fuck blah, all. Blah, 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 blah. King of the him. burning children. Yeah. yeah. King of burning his own children. 
which yeah. I mean, there was a couple things I saw coming in this episode. Not obviously not the bulk of it. The bulk of it I did not see coming. Yeah, um, but her, uh, the wife hanging in the tree. I was like, oh, he's oh, he's looking. Okay, yep, she hung herself. All right. Correct. That part was actually easy to figure out. Like the coming to him one by one. You know, hell, half the army's gone. Uh, and then you know something else. You know, and it's like, okay, what could be worse? You know, yeah, what could be worse than that? And I'm just like, oh, God, his wife hung herself. Yeah. Yeah. Or his, her, his <laughs> wife killed herself. Like, she really did not even care. I was like, oh. Not at first. Exactly. So, that. Huh. And then Melisandre just, you know, bolts at the end of that, like, ditches. Oh, you weren't the true king. See ya. Apparently, you're not the true king. Her magic worked, kind of. Her magic technically no. worked. It melted the snows. <laughs> kind of. Kind of. But, you know, That's all she can looking at, do, though. L- looking at that army that they, that, you know, the Boltons sent at them, even if Stannis' army was doubled in size and had horses, I still don't think he had enough. No. If they had all the horses, if he had all of his forces that he left the wall with, and the horses that didn't die from cold or desertion or just being stolen from out from under them. Or being burned. Or their food supplies being burned or anything. If Stannis got there with his full force, he could have done better. Oh, he would have done better, but I don't know if it would have been enough. Right. You know, we, they had a, the Boltons had a lot. Yeah, the Boltons had quite a lot behind them. And then Brienne makes the killing blow, which... What? Allegedly. Allegedly. Allegedly, yeah. I mean, I hate to say, hate to say allegedly, but I don't you know think what? They're not, they're not giving any solid, you know, answers to this. Because Sansa and Theon, the last you see them, is falling off the wall. Yeah. The last you see of Stannis is a sword being swung towards his general direction. Yeah. And, I mean, he confesses to Brienne that he used blood magic to kill his brother, so. Yeah. That's enough there. I also think at that point he doesn't give a shit. No, he has nothing left to live for. He lost everything. He's bleeding profusely from the leg. Yeah, he's his Achilles tendon is pretty much fucked. Yep, and his wife and his... Well, Melisandre deserted him. He lost his wife, he lost his daughter, he lost his concubine. He's... He's done. He's done, and he just lost his entire force. Yeah, really. Yeah. Some big deal. From the Boltons. Crazy mm-hmm. So there goes Stannis. Let's continue on the train of death here. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Marcella Baratheon. Or so we assume. Yeah. Oh, that was just heart-wrenching. As soon as What's-Her-Face kissed her on the mouth, I was like, did you just pull a motherfucking poison ivy on her? Yeah, I know. That's what Pat said, dude. I was like, oh, man, she's going to get poisoned, too. And then she pulls the little vial out. I was like, you fucking bitch. I... And even during the conversation she has with Jamie, which was adorable, you could see she didn't feel well. No. Yeah. Now, hmm. Prince Doran Martell either A, knew that was happening, or B, is going to be really, really, really epically pissed off. You think they'll turn the boat around? I don't think they'll turn the boat around. I mean... The whole point is to bring, you know, Marcella back to King's Landing with her future husband. Now that's kind of the whole plan is shot. They're on a Dornish bolt, uh, boat. I assume Dornish sailors and guards and stuff on it. Mm-hmm. I mean, they should turn the boat around. I mean, it's I pretty obvious what happened. Yep. I mean, everybody on that dock saw Alaria kiss Marcella. Yeah. Yeah. It's very difficult to not connect those dots. It's like no antidote. But I didn't die of the poison. I don't understand. I hate that woman. Yeah. Yeah. I hate that woman so much. I think that's also why we were confused about her motivations for being nice last episode. Yep. Because it was just, hey, I'm going to make you think I'm cool with you so I can kill your daughter. Except you. And speaking of which, they had a lovely father-daughter moment. Yeah, uh, the only one, the only one he'll ever have. I know that was sweet though. She, she was like, "I really don't care." Anymore. She's like, "I don't care." You know, I'm glad you're my dad. Because the other option was a really fat, evil, you know, a fat, 
drunk, crazy man. Yeah. The other option is an asshole I hardly knew. Right, exactly. I would have took fat, drunk, and crazy for 2000 Bob. <laughs> <laughs> a man sees what you did there. A girl does not. I've been holding that gem back for hours. Uh, I'm so <sighs> glad you decided to share that with us. Yeah, I am so happy, too. Anyway, moving on. Rest <laughs> in peace, Cersei Lannister's luscious golden hair. Oh, that was, <laughs> that was something that I liked about her, too. What? I love Cersei. Bring on the stunt double. I'm going to say it every single episode. I love Cersei. Well, I like Lord Baelish, so... <laughs> Bring him to the same point. Man, we haven't seen him. We have not seen Baelish in a few episodes. Yeah, yeah. Because now he's going to come and take over the North. Ah. Because he still has his army. His army could come at any point, and he's been offered to be Lord of the North. Yeah. But yeah, you're going to get through because he has Bolton first. Not that hard. He know he's got to know some way. Probably. So. Cersei confesses to, you know, screwing her cousin. Right. A singular. A singular. Yeah, doesn't confess to anything else. Oh, she lied, too. And they're like, well, the Well, she had to to protect her children. Right. If, she, if the truth came out, they would rip Tommen from the throne. Yeah. Right. Definitely, yeah. Parade him through the streets like her. And convincing lie told, for now. Yeah. For now. They let her go back to the Red Keep, but not before stripping her naked, cutting all her hair off, and... Making her do the walk of shame. Making her do the walk of shame, bare-ass naked through the crowded streets while some crazy lady rings a bell behind you saying shame. 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 That, listen, Ring. that lady was so proud of herself. She was. Shame. For doing nothing. <laughs> shame. 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 Bring out your dad. I'm not dead yet. And then you have those like random, like crazy fanatical people, like whipping ladies. out their dongs. <laughs> yeah, the other lady. I bet I had more. Or I bet the like. I'm sorry, but all of this stuff you're talking about is, you know, bad and illegal in the eyes of the, the seven. But whipping your dick out at a woman in the middle of a crowded street is what? not frowned upon. I what? mean, yes, they got in the way and they got whacked, but that's not a you know, like. I mean, one woman got knocked the hell out. Like, oh, yeah. They were beating the crap. Yeah, that was really funny. Right, he she just got punched knocked. the woman in the nose, and she like fell down. Right, yeah. but I mean, I imagine in reality, certain religious sects, if you know, a man whipped his junk out at a woman like that, he'd be beaten to death. Yeah, really. But I mean, under something, because this whole thing—it's not about really redeeming this person. This is about s stripping away the nobility. Because th you're not going to see them do this to a poor person. No. You're not going to see them do this to someone who isn't well known. And I think this is the first time we see this, the, or at least I saw, the High Sparrow l with a look in his eyes that's a little less than honest. A little less than oh, I'm totally doing this for the gods. Right. No, he's doing the it look, to yeah, the look in, the homeless, basically. The look in his eye as they guide her out of the room was, yeah, you're you're going to be taken down a peg. Well, that's what he wants to do, is have the people rise up and, you know, take control of their own lives. That's his whole gig. Yeah, but, so. for, but for the whole, you know, at least to me, he seemed like he was an actual pious person. Oh, no, God, no. <laughs> no, as soon as he had this conversation with um, Elena, you know, oh, he right. said that, yeah. like, you know, the people only fear you, you know, the people only fear you for so long, they don't fear you anymore, then yeah. yep. you're screwed. Because, because obviously people all over this city are doing these crimes, but none of them are going to be punished the way that Cersei is just punished. No, she's just made an example. Right. Exactly, yes. she's the example. Well, she's... To do, degrade her. She's being taken down a peg. Mm -hmm. She's been stripped of of the 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 remnant the rainments that well, make the, the poor fear her. That, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's yeah. not so scary anymore. She's not the queen mother. Right, exactly. So at the end of that walk, she gets back to the Red Keep. There's her uncle and Grandmaster Pycelle 
and Kyburn waiting for her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're giving her the death stare, and Kyburn's all like, here, cover up, I'm being nice. Now, <laughs> do the collected armies of the Lannisters, the higher-ups, the small council, minus Kyburn, and all that, not have a brain in their skull? This is... I mean, there is a seven-foot-tall-plus giant man in golden armor who is conveniently never going to speak. You can also conveniently not see his face. I mean, there's only one man that big in the Seven Kingdoms, and he's dead. So, Mm -hmm. does not anybody just point a finger and scream necromancer? I would (laughs) have. But, I mean, the thing is, it's just a big dude. Like, nobody has a cause to say, oh, that's the mountain. Unless, uh, unless the mountain wasn't really dead, I mean... I know well, he was, he's not. He was oh, he's only n- mostly dead, not to make the same joke well, a thousand times this was season. By probably poisoned dagger. I mean, he was dying from manticore venom, which apparently, supposedly, is incurable, but... Right. Manticore, manticore, manticore. Well, so they say it was... Well, that is... Either that or everybody's too, you know too busy pissing themselves in terror of this undead golden armored monstrosity to even you know hint at it mm. well oh maybe. what's that is that tommy oh yeah let tommy in <laughs> yeah i mean the thing though was like they didn't even really react to cersei coming back so they don't really want to react they didn't really give a shit yeah exactly and, and really cersei as soon as you know her new Goliath picked her up. She had the look of like, "Oh, I'm gonna get you, sons of bitches." Everyone's going to die. Everyone oh, dies. Man. Brutally, mm-hmm. brutally murdered. I can't wait for the rampage. But, that like, will we follow. don't. Yeah, we don't know his. That though. His like fighting capabilities now that he's not human or whatever he is. Well, he might. Well, yeah, I don't. We, we he's Frankenstein's be, monster. He could be like an unstoppable juggernaut now. And yeah. Very much so. I'm the juggernaut, bitch! I don't want <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Somebody had to make the joke. <laughs> Somebody did. So, heading away from this, Cersei's gonna get her sweet, sweet revenge. <laughs> you just see it in her eyes. Yeah, she's all like, oh, just pick me up, I'm so weak right Especially now. Especially when she finds out that her daughter's dead. Ooh. Oh, man. She was weak because she walked all the way bare feet she was bleeding oh, no. but she's acting all like oh. bare feet stone streets who knows jagged rocks i mean i do i do know the book makes a point of mentioning that there's broken glass in the streets as yeah, she I, walks. I mean that's what i thought too because they were throwing shit at her right. Right. Like food and like glass yeah, yeah. food and shit and things shit broke and... at the feet you saw you heard it yeah so her feet are screwed up yeah and then she's gonna find out marcella's dead and heads are gonna roll and get squished. And get squished. She better pray that she doesn't have a knife on her when he tells her. <sighs> yeah. She might just stab him. We're gonna be like, your brother's in. The, your brother's at the other end of the keep. He wants us to deliver this message. We have to go. It's like, yeah. She's dead. He says he'll see you soon. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Well, yeah. yeah, she's dead. Perhaps. If you feel murderous, you might want to not go see your brother yet. Yeah, not really. <laughs> That'd be good. So, moving across the narrow sea, Danny gets dumped off in the middle of nowhere with a very injured dragon. Aww. He's a sweepy peepee. He's a sweepy peepee surrounded by the bones of his food. By the, yeah, right. He was hungry. Is that his roost or is that <laughs> yeah. just a place he no, showed up? No, that's out? his roost. That's probably his roost that he made for himself when he was off being free. Because I was going to say, wow, he ate all of that. He must have been yeah. there. Nah, he probably ate enough people at the stadium. <laughs> yeah. So at, yep. at that point, Danny's just like, all right, fine, I'm out of here. Decides to go for a nice little walk. And lo yeah, and I behold, think she was looking for a way off the mountain. She was looking for a way off, yeah, because she was on the in top of a plateau, basically. Yeah. And then, lo and behold, the lone Dothraki. Except he's not alone. I Well, I think that's the call. The call? Really? The new call. The yeah. new one. Because he's got, he's got a braid as long as Drogo's was. And now she's surrounded by assumed tens of thousands of Dothraki. A good portion of which probably remember her. And they're probably like, oh, we like you. No. 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 They don't like her. 
They only yeah, but, liked her because she was the call, you know, she was the call squeeze. Yeah, his main squeeze. His yeah. main squeeze. Now and they that followed he's, her as in a while. They followed I her as Felici for only a limited amount of time, and then they were like, mm, "Peace, bye." About eight months. Eight. And she had, and then she only had like a small group of of Dothraki following her. None of them were the warriors. No, they were the weak, the sick, the old, yeah. or the handmaidens. The the like those kinds of of jobs. Yeah. And everyone on her, all of those Dothraki all looked like they were fighters. Every one of them had the sickles and yeah. the spears and the braids. None of them none of them looked like any of the handmaidens she had or something like that. No. So those were all warriors. Yeah. It was legitimately an army. She's going to have some fun. Hey. She's she's screwed. No, oh, oh, they're oh. going to have some fun when they figure out that the, you know, she has a Hopefully Drogon wakes up out of his little stupor and realizes, oh, mommy's in trouble again. Oh, fine God, Ma, you're such a pain. Well, I just wanted to sleep. I mean, jeez. Why can't you just set I'm them a, on I'm fire? I'm a Tucker Thompson. You gotta let me go bed. I just cleared a stadium. I mean, God. Jesus Christ, Mom. Mom. So Mom. She, I went glove. I mean, she, it was smart that she left her ring to place right, it a little um, Just so that, gently took it off and dropped it. Like, no just let show. someone find this. And hopefully someone will, because we have Jora and Dario. That's the new odd couple. Oh my god. Lover boy and friend Jora better not be touching people, because... Yeah, seriously. Yeah, he really shouldn't. They didn't even go over that topic. No. It's not going to come up. It's not going to come up until it spreads. Right. It's not going to come up until he's dying from it. Until he can't Until he can't conceal it anymore. Yep. Mm. Yeah. So they're off on a lovely stroll, and Tyrion's left in charge. Again. Again. Tyrion's like, oh, what? well, I just wanted to get away from all this shit. Tyrion, Grey Worm, and Missande, they're left in charge, but... Yeah. I mean, Dario's got a point. None of us have any experience running a city. Except that guy. Yeah. And he's like, damn it, I just wanted to be... Crazy. Yeah, his face is totally like... Ugh. Shit. And then, I just and wanted then to drink. he finds his friend. Just hang out. Oh, oh no. yeah. Varys? Oh, yeah, and then Vara, Va Varys, Varys just walks up Jesus. behind him. Yeah. To be real. He's like, you do know I, somebody. I wonder who's going to tell you what's going on here. Hmm. I wonder who's going to tell you which of these, you know, great wise masters are trying to kill you. Thanks. Because Varys probably knows every single one of them. Yeah. yeah. There's I, some or he's got a birdie who can tell him. Or he has a birdie that can tell them. Birds, birds whisper in the west and they whisper in the east. I miss you, buddy. <laughs> I loved. I missed you. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I, I loved it. Uh, they're gonna be. They're gonna be. I think they're gonna make a great team. Now that Tyrion's kind of stopped drinking. <laughs> oh, but I don't think he divined any. That's why I'm like, yeah. No. <laughs> he stopped mainlining wine. <laughs> he stopped mainlining wine. And it's only a little bit now. <laughs> yeah. So back across towards the wall here. John yeah. sends Sam and Gilly off at Sam's request to Old Town so Sam can learn to be a maester. Oh, I love Sam. Yay. Pretty useful. Because yeah. Sam, I mean, in combat is... Pretty he's like, you know, he was smart. You know, knowing his, <clears throat> knowing his weakness. Right. Yeah. That's very smart. But of him. he's right. He'll be more in use when he knows how to heal, when he knows, like, Exactly. All this other shit. And he can protect his love better that way, too. Yes, that too. It'll be easier to protect her in Old Town. <laughs> and that he finally got a chance to fall. <laughs> that too. Yep. He was proud of that moment. He was proud of that moment. And then Jon Snow. Our closing moment of the episode. Wait, you forgot something. What'd I forget? Go there again. To Davos? Oh yeah, Davos and Melisandre. I forgot. Davos sees her come back to the wall looking depressed. I was I was like, oh yeah, now he's gonna know what happens, but then I'm like, no, she doesn't have to tell him that it was her fault that uh, the child is dead. She's like, no, he needs, no. <laughs> he needs 
to know. Uh, he has to find out somehow. He will and eventually. He kill her. Well, there, there was a bunch of deserters, so maybe they'll... Maybe, ho- oh, hopefully. Know. Maybe he'll catch up with one of them and they'll say we deserted because he burned his daughter at the stake. <laughs> so, I mean, we can assume Melisandre went back there for John. But... That's what I'm thinking. But... That's what I think. Cat thinks that she'll bring Because he's the true king. The truest of true. The truest of true. There's conspiracies out there, too. He's also the deadest of dead. Well, he's I also think that... He died, guys. Spoilers. Well, the... dead. <laughs> no. Listen... The New York Post spoiled it for me this morning. Yeah. Just right. So anyway, he's lured outside with the promise of being reunited with his uncle, potentially. And then, for the watch, stab. Oh. For it's the a, watch, another stab. Yeah, that was some Julius caesar ass. Oh, shit. that was seriously some yes, Julius was. Caesar. We're just, yeah. For the watch. Fucking okay. yeah. Ali. Stupid bastard's gotta be the last one to stab. To Ali. And then, yeah. And you. The last see, you see of John is him bleeding out into the snow. Can I just tell you I was really disappointed because I stood up for Jackass. I said, no, he'll follow his his, uh, his, Lord, Commander. his Lord Commander. No. No, I was like, I stood up for you. I'm sorry. <laughs> pa- I, I was just going to warn you, tell you the past three episodes in my head I've been laughing like, oh my god, Chrissy, I'm so sorry when you see the finale. Shut up. It was very, it's but you know what? Honestly, there was that inkling like, hey, they might not go that far. They might do something different. They're doing a lot of things different with the show than they did the books. But Well, that was the same. That leave, was more or less the same. But it leaves room, though. You never know. I mean, the show can go anywhere. Right? Oh, Melisandre's there. We know these... Melisandre, well, exactly. We know these red priests can resurrect people. Exactly. Well, one of them figured it out. One of them did. Well, there I... was... All right, so there was an interview with Kit Harrington, the guy who plays Jon Snow, and he said that he will not be back next season. There, Yeah, there was an interview, and they said he said he had a sit-down with Dan and whoever the guy was, um, the, the uh, creators of the show. He had a sit-down with them, and they said, you're dead. You're done. Like, your character is dead. Yeah, I read something online, too, that said that he's like... Like, you know, you're not coming back next season, you are dead. Yeah. Right. But like, that doesn't mean that he won't come... Like, the Jon Snow that we know may not actually be dead and may come back in some other form or something. It'll be Westeros Jesus. That's my that's my theory. Westeros Jesus. <laughs> Who knows? Jesus. Well, West Jesus. Well, there's that whole thing with, like, the Warrior of Light who initially kick the shit out of all the White Walkers back in the day when the the first ones were around. Mm. So he could be that guy. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I just had a thought that mm-hmm. the fucking jackass is going to take Longclaw. Yeah, he might. And it's going to make me really fucking mad. He I might just try. Want to do a ghost. Yeah. Good news. Unless, just, unless maybe he'll reinvent right. his... He'll reincarnate as Ghost for a little while. We, he was supposed to have been warging this whole time. Well, they didn't cover that in the show. I mean, in the book, they mention every now and then, like he'd have wolf. He'll dreams. be described. He'll have wolf wolf dreams. He'll be dis- you know, he's running through the woods. He's got the scent of something and all that. He doesn't know it, but he's having wolf dreams, and we know that because the same shit happens to Bran, and they describe what's happening to Bran. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, same shit that happens to Bran is happening to John, but John isn't aware of it. Yeah. And it's assumed that all of the Stark children can do that. Uh, yes. Yep. Because Arya has, I believe in the book, Arya has one. Yeah, yeah Arya did too. And the only one we can't know for sure is... Lady. Rob. Well, Lady, we... Kn- yeah. We can't know for sure because Lady's dead. Sansa's wolf is dead. And we never had a point of view chapter from Rob Stark. So we don't know if he ever had any wolf dreams. Yeah. And the same with Rickon, but he's three. Five. <laughs> well, in the book, he's three. He's five now. Well, he's five. He'd be five now. Yeah, he's five now. Five. Anyway, yes. thus ends <laughs> season five. And we well, are now I- caught up and past the books in some cases. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of things I'm wondering, like... Hmm. How how is it gonna start off next season? 
Mm. One of them is Melisandre. Because right. Melisandre came into just it came into Castle Black with this face like, Oh, my my savior failed me or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's like why what what is she gonna do now? Yeah. Like is she gonna find a new savior? Is she gonna well, find the, the flaming sword dude? Is she gonna team up with another priest? I mean she, is she even welcome there? The, now that That's John's not question. there, like, is That's she gonna go scoop up some of his blood and make another shade? Him? That's a good question. We don't know. You have to stick in her vagina first. Jeez. I mean, I'm trying to figure <laughs> out. Oh, okay, my friend. No. <laughs> yeah, it's all. I mean, we're going into next season mm-hmm. with a little, you know. Well, fresh. Everything is unwritten. I mean... Anything can really happen, too. It's like There's that. a couple of things that the end of the last book covered that they didn't cover in the show. And I'm not mentioning them because they could still cover that. Right. But for the most part, they are either equivalent to or past it. Like the shit with Stannis? I honestly don't remember any of that happening. Mm. Um, and such like that. But, great season. I like the finale. A lot of people apparently hated it. Um, I thought it was fine, just sad, but good. yeah, it was right. sad. It was depressing. It was well, well. I mean, yes, it was sad. And I think since John's death was spoiled for me, I didn't get all of the sadness I was supposed to at the right moment. No, I nearly <laughs> fell apart. But but what <laughs> I, I got was just awful. profound disappointment, and not in. In the in the writers, I think the writers do a great job with this episode. But I was just so angry at the Night's Watch, just like oh, no emotion left at the end of that. Episode. Yeah, yeah, exactly. They just turned their I'm mess. So people. angry. Yeah. But it, I mean, it's ingrained I in them. I could see why they were outraged. What's ingrained in them? To hate wildlings. This is yeah. their whole calling, their whole life. It's everything that's been drilled into their skulls for as long as they've known. It's like now we have these White Walkers. It's like we yeah, band together. And, and then John comes up with a very logical argument, but how does logic work against stubborn belief in any sense? It never it's, does. It never does. Uh, he he and like, at the same well, point. All these men have had friends or loved ones die from the wildling attacks. True. Now all of a sudden, so has John though. And, John. and all I could think was, have fun when the White Walkers come and murder you all. It really, that's, that's just it. Like, a, he, he had a point, like, bringing them together. But... Yeah, but at the same point, like, he screwed a wildling, and that's why. Well, there is that. Never mind, that's what he thought. Oh, well, he messed around with a wildling, so in turn, that's he the only reason why he wants to save these damn wildlings. He, he didn't listen to his men. I mean, not, and I don't fault him for it. But he didn't listen to his men, and a man and a leader who doesn't listen to his men leads no one. Yeah. So he made the same mistake his father did, and you know was striving too hard for the greater good. Yep. And well, when your men are fucking wrong. Uh, yes, but he, you get maybe could have, he maybe could have found a way to compromise or something like that. I don't he know. Could have listened to their concerns, and he could have right. yeah, given them more of a forum or something. But he didn't because he only you know he saw. If he he saw the bigger problem, which was wise of him, but he, you know, that's what's going to happen. In the end, he did what had to be done because if he had gave the men, you know, the time or whatever the debate, all of those wildlings would be dead, yeah, and that yeah. army would be three times the size. I, I mean, he was damned if he did, damned if he did. But yep, at least at least the wildlings are on the other side of the wall. And it's the wall between the army and the wildlings. Right. And as John it's said, I hope secrets. they don't learn to climb the wall. Oh, I know. Yeah. But supposedly the wall is... Honestly, and that got chat that he had with Sam is what he should have been telling the men. <laughs> like, hey guys, I saw fucking the scariest thing in the world. Yeah, but like, are they going to believe that? Well, believe oh, Ed. Yeah. Ed saw the same shit. I know. They're as probably not going to believe that either. As soon as he left, they had their knives ready. I mean, it was... He was yeah, done. Yeah, that plan was ready. Enacted. Yeah. 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 Well, season five done. Season six, opening scene better be Sansa just falling into the snow. 
breaking her legs. Oh my God. Her I don't care if she breaks her legs or not, just falling into the snow. Just Me and John were first. talking about it, uh, and uh, we hope that Podrick is on the is under the wall with a trampoline. Oh, that would be funny. <laughs> 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 Who are you? Don't worry, I'm Perry Trampoline. No, I... Well, I... And I'm very good at making the sex. We don't know where he is right now, so I'm assuming <laughs> that maybe he saw... He may have seen the light in the tower and was like, huh. I'll head down. Huh. That's what we were waiting for. I'm gonna run now. <laughs> he's, probably, he's probably feet a couple feet behind Brienne. Um, yeah. Hopefully. Mm. So, great season. I liked it. I thought it was good season. I'm excited for next season. Can't come quick enough. I know. We have to wait a whole other year. Very upsetting. My, my favorite tweet was, Fuck this show! When's it start again? Yeah. <laughs> when does it start again? This show is so depressing. When does it start again? I know so many when people on Twitter who are like, I am so done with this show. You can't. You'll never. Nobody will ever be done with this. Look, Tyrion's not dead. It's, right. And they know... That if Tyrion ever dies, the show ends. The show ends <laughs> because <laughs> the fans will collectively riot. Well, the wee, I mean, but he loves the wee little one. But everybody loves John too, and they just killed him. I know. But then at it least there's people left to watch. Yes, there's people. Nope. They didn't kill everybody. No, because John, Danny, and Tyrion were their main. Yeah, we're the three fan favorites. Yeah, I know. I was pissed off yesterday. I'm like, God damn it, Jon Snow's dead. All right, I'm gone. He's like I my favorite character. It's okay, guys. Grey Worm is still alive. I don't care about him. And Sackless. I love Grey Worm. Well, Grey Worm's alright, but... I fucking love Grey Worm. Yeah, he's, he's a good guy. I've been my Sunday. I love him so much. They're so cute. They really are. They oh, really are adorable. <laughs> we, can have, we can have platonic general rubbing if you'd like. <laughs> It's his companion. Nothing. I can't even. So, on that. That's it. That's, uh -huh. that's it. Uh, on that. Da, 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 da. That's our show. Uh, we didn't mention uh, uh, how one of the Dornish girls uh, was telling Bron he needs a. He, he needs a bad pussy, or he need yeah. he wants he wants a good girl, but he needs a bad pussy. Needs bad pussy. <laughs> a good girl. She's my fucking favorite. That's so nasty. This little so She's crazy. So whorish. She is. Ah. No, she's slutty. She doesn't get paid for it. No. Like, you dirty little bitch. Whores get paid. Whores get paid. She's just a slut. <laughs> anyway, Pat and Michelle, where could they find you? On the Twitters at the fish Or in time and space. Well played. John and Cleo. Your Who point. goes first? John. Me. <laughs> I win. You can find me at no more no more on the Twitter twaddles. Yeah, and Cleo. You can find me on Cleo Moto on the socials. And on Twitch at the Cleomoto, and go look at my Etsy at Cleomoto because I, I sell wizard hats. They're Her awesome. Mother. She does sell wizard hats. hats. But, yeah, just, they shipped one out today. That one was fun. To many make. colors. They are awesome. Many colors. Point, pointy Sweet. wizard hats. I am Saruman the Many Colored. All right, pick us You can find me on Twitter at Thaladrin. You can find us all on Facebook, Gmail, Google Plus, MySpace, Facebook, and. YouTube. Oh. I haven't done that in so long, I'm forgetting. I know, uh, me too. I just like stumbled up from that. Many numbers at ASOTV Podcast. You can follow us at those places for some more podcasts for some of your favorite TV shows. Uh, what's still running? It's the end of, like, all the, the big shows we do are done. The last ship is going to be starting. Right, next the last week. ship is starting. iZombie's still going on. Uh, yeah. What's it called? It's coming this summer. The Walking Dead. Uh, yeah. And Pretty Little Liars is happening. That's yeah. it. There There's we go. The last ship is still sailing. Yes. The last ship is still sailing. Yes. Eh. Beat. I'm That's still great to sail. Oh, I gotta catch up on all my shows. 